name is Rich Sullivan. I'm the OEM Business Development Manager for Iskar Metals. My job description involves me in all kinds of projects, demos, how do we work with OEMs, how do we work with those peripheral companies that support um, the OEMs, Mastercam. There's never a boring day in, uh, in this position. I got a call from uh, Dave from Mastercam. Dave said, hey, what if we got you involved in a project to make a hollow body guitar? And of course I said, I'm listening. He went a little further and told me a little more about Dean Zielinski and found out that this guy's, this guy's designed guitars for the greats, for, the, for Hart, ZZ Top, Kansas, uh, the Cars, I mean, all these other great bands, just incredible incredible uh, guitar. So, you know, we, we thought about it, talked it out and said, yeah, of course, we're in. And we sat down and collaborated. We had several meetings, teams meetings, where we had people from Chicago, people from Houston, people from Seattle, because they're experts with these types of tools. We had all those people on the phone talking at the same time. And what was really nice was with this car, our electronic catalog is very, it's image based. So when we're talking about things, we're going into the electronic catalog. We can grab the model right in real time, plug that into the program, check out your clearances and say, yeah, I think we have something here. There's a lot going on with the neck. You know, when I first saw that part, I said, this is beautiful. And you just look at that spider logo, you look at his signature, and you know you're working with a king in the industry. We used our Spinjet Micro on that part, and the Spinjet Micro is driven by the coolant flow. And we had plenty of coolant flow available, which allowed us to obtain 40,000 RPMs on a two millimeter ball mill. On the side of the neck, we cut a channel. We looked at that and we went in there with our uh, Multi-Master T-Slot product, cleared that out. Uh, we were gonna do that with a ball, but we ended up saving a bunch of time by T-slotting it. We used a lot of feed mill technology where we could. There were some spots where we thought that it might work, but of course you're on the neck you're holding between centers and your forces on the, on the feed mill sometimes are axial. So what we found is we had to pivot a couple times and move back to solid carbide, non-feed mill style, and just send the forces back into the spindle. And that worked like a champ. You look at the backside, you look at the Z-Glide and all the holes that are there and the chamfering that's done on there and the finish. And This is going into somebody's hands. This is going into a serious professional guitar player's hands. So it's got to be just right. There's certain parts that have a feel to them. There's a finesse to a part. And this, this part right here has a lot of finesse to it. I think the feel is going to be incredible on this guitar. This is a project that I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, and we had some great partners to work with and it just went very smooth. But at the end of the day, he's got to play it. And I, I'm confident he's going to love it, so looking forward to it. It, it. It's a great guitar and a great rendition of my guitar. You know, a home run. <laughs>